just uh, pray and that God will uh, move in this hour or this 45, whatever God has for us at this time. Because if ever we needed the Lord before, the song says we sure enough need him now. So Father, we thank you for this time that you've given to us to come and to minister to your people. God, we know that it's not easy in this time, in this day and time. We know that we really need you. We really need your touch. We really need a word from you. We really need comfort from you. We need healing. We need a way made out of no way. God, we just need your spirit. We need you to move 
even now by your spirit. The song says God is moving by his spirit, moving in all the earth. Yes, yes. And we really believe that, oh God. We acknowledge you. Yes. We know that without you, we can yes, do nothing. Yes, 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 but we yes. also know with you all things, oh, yes. hallelujah, are possible yes. to them that believe. So, God, we hold on to your hand. We hold on to your unchanging hand. God, it's, it's nothing false about you. Everything about you is real. God, we know that you stay to your promise. And God, when we need you, we know that you come. And when you come, you're right on time. And so, God, we just thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. God, I pray that somebody's life is transformed. Yes. Yes. I pray that somebody is healed. I pray that somebody's eyes are open and ears are open to whatever you have for us on today. This is your hour of morning manna. So, God, we thank you once more. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. I don't know what your need is today because I'm not God. But I do know the person that knows, which is God. And so, while and as we go through uh, the message on today, as we do whatever we do, we pray that you will uh, keep your attention and your focus on God and what God is actually saying to all of us. Because when I come to you, I don't come to you with what I think. I come to you with the word of God. Somebody say, is there a word from the Lord? I can tell you today that there is a word from the Lord for you. So you're not wasting your time. You are in the right place. You are in the right place. And I'm going to say it one more time. You are in the right place at the right time. And so Sister Joyner is going to come and she's going to read our scriptures. If you could just uh, pay close attention to them. Uh, Sister Lucinda has put them on, I believe, the screen or Facebook Live, so you should be able to see them. Uh, so she's getting ready to come. Sister Joanna, you got it. I mean, good morning to all of our virtual friends. I like to say good morning to you, and it's been seven days since the last Sunday that I've seen you or heard from you or saw your writing but i thank god for you joining in again to our virtual congregation thank you again i'm going to be reading our scriptures this morning and we have quite a few of them so you might want to grab a pencil or a pen to make note of the scriptures i think they are posted if they are not i will still give them to you our scriptures will be coming from first scripture revelation 1 and 10, Revelation 2, verses 7, 11, 17, and 29. Most of these verses, only the first sentence in each verse of those four verses, five verses, will be read. And we're still going to be in the book of Revelation, but the third chapter, verse 6, 13, and 22, will be read in its entirety and they may be one line but that's all that's in that scripture then lastly our scripture st john 10 27 that's our scripture for the land so the scriptures are read as follows verse 10 revelation 1 i was in the spirit on the lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet Revelation 2, 7, 11, 17, and 29. The first sentence only in each of these verses. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. 
He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Revelation 3, 6, 13, 22. When I read, this is only what's in that particular scripture. Verse 6, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. 13, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. And verse 22, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Lastly, St. John ten twenty seven, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, they follow me. The word of the Lord is blessed in our hearing. Thank you so much, Sister Joyner. I appreciate that, uh, that reading. I thank you, and I want to say it uh, while everybody's listening, because it's important. I know I say it behind closed doors, but I want to say it publicly. This is the greatest woman that I have ever seen in my life, uh, time, and I've seen a lot of people, but she is one woman of God that sticks with her husband. She helps me when I'm down. She helps me when I'm up. She's always there for me, and I couldn't find a better mate for ministry. If I say that God has told me to do something, she never have given me uh, any flack about it. She said, if God said it, so be it. And I just thank God for a person like that. Well, thank you. you know, a lot of thank people you. say uh, things when they get in uh, public and it's not true. Yes. I mean, I, I, I can tell you, people say a lot of things when they get in public that are not true. But I can tell you yes, yes. without a shadow of a doubt, without any hesitation, that she has been a godly woman. She has been a an, an example for any first lady or any pastor's wife, if you don't want to call yourself a first lady, she has been an example, has helped me in ministry for the last 30-something years. In fact, uh, even before I became a pastor, uh, Sister Joyner was there when I was uh, doing music. Yes. Yeah, as I was Recording. doing recordings <laughs> and stuff that for you that don't know that I've done that. Uh, recordings, she was right there to do the label, to help me with the pictures, uh, to help me even with the finances and all of those kind of things. So she's been um, a very faithful wife 46 uh, for 46 years. <laughs> years uh, yes, with me you. and I wouldn't be the man that I am. Thank you, Lord. I think that Sister Joyner, that's a, in a picture or something, somebody say that as well, but I wouldn't be the man that I am if it was not for her. And, and I want to say, <laughs> and God, yes, but I'm talking about you. Yes, yes. Amen. <laughs> God is always first yes. in all of our lives. And if it wasn't for God in your life. Giving me you. <laughs> giving me you and you me. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't uh, be here and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Thank you could have given me a me hard you. time, but you didn't. <laughs> anyway. That's what I wanted to say uh, Thank you. about Thank you, sir. her. Uh, not looking for nobody else. I have what God has given me. Amen. Amen. So our, our scriptures today has been read. And notice we're going into revelations. Yes, uh, yes. God bless you. Good to see you, uh, Brother Nicholson. God bless you. Uh, I got a subject on today that I think that will uh, kind of bring all of us in an awareness of somewhat what we should be doing and what we should be listening to. So our thought for today is a need for spiritual ears to hear. We're going to be talking about a need for spiritual ears to hear. 
going to give you a definition I always do before I begin. Uh, I always try to clarify the meaning of some of the words that we're using in our thought. The first word is here. And here has one, more than one meaning, so I'm going to give you more than one meaning because we're going to be talking about hearing in two ways. The first one is to take notice or to pay attention to or carefully listen. You can write that down if you want to. Here, what does it mean? To take notice, to pay attention to, or carefully listen. That's the first definition. Second definition that I want to give to you for the word here, it means to adhere or follow the instructions, advice, or guidance of. I'm going to give that one more time. The second definition we're going to be using for here is to adhere or follow the instructions, advice, or guidance of. There is a saying that uh, one of my mentors used to say all the time and kind of embed into uh, our spirits as his uh, followers. He used to say, information without application is abortion. Then he used to say, to know and not to do is yet to know. Yes, yes. You might want to write that down too. That's right. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get into the other in a minute, but just, just kind of get this basic uh, stuff down first, so that we can have a solid foundation. The saying is, information without application mm. is abortion. The second saying is, to know and not to do is yet to know. And I'll try to explain that as we go along. If it was ever a time that the people of God needs a spiritual ear, is now. You know, with all of the noise and chatter that we are experiencing in this day and time, all of the lies, all of the deception, yes, yes, yes. all of the discouraging words, the name calling, all of the hatred, yes. all of the injustice, that's happening yes, in our yes. world today, not just uh, with us, but it's also happening in the church. It's not just happening in the world, rather, Sister yes, Joanna, yes. but it's also happening in the church. And a lot of people are getting discouraged. A lot of people are saying, forget it. You know, I'm, I'm just going to stay home. I'm not going to nobody's church and I'm certainly not going to support any ministry. And, and, and in some ways, yes, yes. it can be understood because of the times in which we're living in. But I want to let you know that God has not done anything to anyone. Uh, it is the people who kill. Yes, it is yes. the people who have the choice to steal. It is the people who have the choice to... Uh, hurt one another and to lie on one another and to fight one another uh, and to undercut one mm -hmm. another. That are that is the choice that many people were. You know that God said, "I set before you both good and evil." That's right. That's right. You choose. Mm -hmm. But sure. I believe that everybody is talking to everybody right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got people on the radio talking. Lord, no, they're telling lies. You got people on the TV yeah. that's giving bad information. Yeah. 
And then, you know, you, you one person reports one thing and then you go to Fox News, they reporting another thing. And then you go to another news and they're, yeah. they're reporting something else. And then yeah. everybody go, oh, wow, what should we believe? Yeah. What is really happening in our world today? And especially with the corona thing is saying, what, you know, who should we believe? In other words, whose report do we believe, do we believe or should we Believe, but I'm going to let you know you should believe the report of the Lord. That is the report that matters. Now, I'm going to get into these scriptures. It is critical and important that the church, above all other people, above all other individuals, it is important that the church turn their un divided attention that's it that's it to what god is saying uh, above all else i know all of this stuff is going on and it's not easy to focus sister jordan on what god is saying it's yeah. not easy yeah. cuz I, I if i said it was easy i would be lying because there is so much noise you ever been in a place where it's so much noise you got to just Kind of put your hands over your ears right. because the noise is so loud. Yes, That's what's yes. happening right now, Laverne. That's what's happening right now. People are so frustrated. They are so uh, confused with all of this. But anyway, here we have in the scripture revelation. And if you noticed that I had uh, Sister Joni to read from these particular passages and it's seemingly to be repetitious. Yeah. Well, God has always been repetitious in what he said to us. I, I know it kind of sounds a little strange, but if you read in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy is all about uh, the rehearsal of the law. If you were to give it a theme, it would be the rehearsal of the law. Mm -hmm. And then you say, well, what is the reasoning behind rehearsing what has already happened? Because mm -hmm. I remember I used to go to Deuteronomy and I said, well, wow, all of this stuff that Deuteronomy is talking about, that Moses is, 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 is taught, telling the people about has already happened. Mm -hmm. You know, they had already been delivered right. from Egypt. They had already uh, went uh, to a certain point into the wilderness and you know, all of the things that God did, all the miracles that God wrought was rehearsed mm -hmm. in Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. That's why it can be called rehearsal of the law. Oh, wow. And its subtopic is remember. Remember what God did over here. Remember what God... So it's repetitious. Mm -hmm. A lot of things in the word of God has to be said. In fact, it's said that in, in looking at things and saying things to people... It has to be repeated at least 26 times in order for them to really get it. And I didn't understand why commercials would come on five and six and seven times yes, through, through yes. A, a movie. I get tired of the commercials yes. because, you know, but you remember them. And if, as soon as that commercial come on, you say, that's a stupid commercial. Yes. yes. Or you say this or that. I but know. you <laughs> actually, whether you like the commercial or not, it's there, mm -hmm. and, and it's embedded in your mind. Man, this is a stupid commercial, but you remember exactly mm -hmm. what happened. And so God does the same thing in his word. He repeats things, but you got to understand, when things are repeated as much as they are here, it needs to be noted. That's right. That's it right. needs to be looked at closely. Mm. Now notice what he says in John. He that has an ear, yeah. oh, come on. Let him hear mm -hmm. what the spirit, not what people That's are saying. It. Not what man. <laughs> not not what the circumstances around you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he says, he that has an spirit. ear, yeah. let him hear what the spirit. Spirit yes. is saying to the church. Now, let me give you a little background on John. John is on the Isle of Patmos. He has been 
alienated. He has been, uh, I guess, uh, abandoned. He has been put on an island because he is preaching Jesus Christ and him crucified. He is preaching what we call today the gospel to people. And they wanted to shut him up. Yeah, they yeah. had told him to stop preaching. You know, there are people right today are telling you to be quiet. Sure yeah, you know, stop saying hallelujah. Stop saying glory. Yes, stop yes. saying praise the Lord. And we have failed for anything. You know, a double-minded man or woman. Come on. The Bible let us know is unstable in not some of their ways, Come on. Oh. but in all their ways. So we, we must <laughs> remain yes. faithful and remain uh, attentive to what God is saying, especially now. If it's ever a time we should do that, it is right now. So John is standing up for God. He is standing up for truth. He is standing up for people being transformed or we call born again or becoming converted to this uh, faith called Christianity. And mm -hmm. Christianity is not a white man's religion. All right. It is a... He's, he's trying to make it his religion yeah, yeah. Uh, and try to put it into his own form. Mm -hmm. Not all. I'm saying some are. So, uh, but this, Jesus Christ is real. Yes, he is. He is the son of God and he has come to save us from our sins. If I was somebody writing a Bible that was for me, it surely wouldn't be what's written in it now. I would have adjusted it and made it to fit me. Yeah. Yes, I yes. wouldn't say love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. I wouldn't say obey them that have rule over you. I yes. wouldn't be saying yes. do unto yes. others as you would have them yes. do yes. unto you. I wouldn't be saying <laughs> pray for your enemies. Oh, oh Lord, no. Oh. I, I wouldn't be saying any of that stuff. I wouldn't be saying uh, uh, be not deceived for God is not mocked what a man so that shall he also, also reap. reap. Look at all of the stuff that you would have to reap. Yes. If, this, if this word is true, Mm -hmm. possibility if yeah. Yeah. if this word is true then so I, I didn't mean to get off in that but let me get back to what I was saying about John John is on this island uh, you know but he said something that made good sense he said I was in mm, the spirit come on come on come on <laughs> hallelujah he said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I know you at home. Mm -hmm. I know you may not be in a sanctuary. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean that the spirit of God cannot flow in you yes. and flow through you. It does not mean that the spirit of God yeah. cannot fall on you. Yeah, that's right. it, that's it, right. it just means that you are not in a church building mm -hmm. right now. I want to say that and I want to speak that to those who may be right now discouraged Courage, because you haven't been able to actually freely go to a church, you know, of your choosing and do the things that you do, you know, usually. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you to let you know that if you and God has a relationship, God is still with you. Right. Sister Allen, he is still with you. Others, he is still with you. Do, no matter what uh, the situation and circumstances is. So, so John is actually saying, uh, no matter what circumstances I'm under, no matter how much noise around me, because, you know, that was an island that they took prisoners to and took criminals to, and they took uh, political people who was against the government on onto that island. And could you imagine there were people from historical sayings, there were people who they abandoned and put on that island that starved to death. Yes. Some of them, uh, because of the atmosphere there, they, uh, they, they didn't have the clothes that they needed, so they got hypothermia and they died. Right. Some of them couldn't have the food that they needed, so they starved. Others was, you know... Fought, 
you know, by the other criminals there. And they would kill each other. And they would try to survive the best they, way they could. And somebody asked the question, how did John survive that island? How did he uh, survive to a point where he could come off? Because he said something that's very important. He said, in other words, I didn't look around me and allow what's around me to cause me to lose hope or to uh, give up or to get angry with God. But rather, I took that as an opportunity to hear from the Lord. Let me say this. God may have to cause people to abandon you in order for you to really hear him. All right. This is the greatest revelation that John has ever come forth with from Jesus Christ himself. This is the greatest uh, uh, time or prophecy mm -hmm. of, about what's going to happen in the end times that John had ever experienced. You go back and get your chance Go and read Revelation. Man, I tell you, that book has so much in it mm. that, that if you, you could stay in it for about yes, a couple of yes, years yes, and yes, not yes, yes. get everything that's in there. That's in right. fact, the Bible says, blessed is he that readeth this book. Bless, if, if you just read it, you have a blessing. Bible says so. Yes. So anyway... That's how crucial this book is. And so he mentions over and over and over again, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. John, will he remained and was able to hear from God even in this awful circumstances that he found himself in. He was able to hear from God. God has John uh, to close each letter or each instructions mm. or each uh, uh, confirmation or information or whatever God was saying to the seven churches. Yeah. And that's he was talking to the churches. He wasn't talking to the world because the world ain't listening to God. Come on now. They listening to how much money I can well the church is now too. Yes, some people. Yes. But you know they're listening Say to it. asking <laughs> how much money can I make? You know, what can you with them? Yeah. What what can you you know what in it is what in it for me? me? That that's what is happening now. Yeah. But we as God's people we can't have that kind of a spirit. That's right. That's we right. must that's remain right. faithful to God, and we must remain uh, with our ears open. Uh, I always often say to people, put up your spiritual antennas. And the reason I say that is that you can hear something without actually receiving it into your heart. If you don't believe it, you can go back and read in the Gospel of Matthew, I think, and in, in the Gospel of Mark, where Jesus talks about the parable of how he gave the word out mm. and, uh, and, and how the seeds fell on stony ground. Yes, and yes. some of uh, the words fell on uh, sandy ground. Some fell on thorns. And, yes, and then he talks yes. about that that fell on good ground. And he was talking about hearing what, the Lord had to say, not what people have to say. I, I, you know, sometimes we fail God by distracting ourselves and looking at people. People say a lot of things about you. And if you allow it to get next to you, right. if you allow it to, to uh, degrade you, if you allow it to uh, make you uh, think less of yourself than That's you right. are, then you know. Then you cannot get to God uh, and hear from God like right, you should. Right. You know, so a man thinketh in his that's heart. Right. You know, has to go to the mind too. Yeah, yeah. So is he. The Bible says this to us. If we want to remain uh, focused on, He said, "Let this mind mm -hmm. 
be in you that is also hallelujah Come on now. in Christ Jesus. Jesus. If you if you really want to hear from the Lord, get the mindset mm -hmm. of God. What old you know? He says, well, you know, think on these things. Mm -hmm. Whatever things are pure, whatever things are righteous, what right. whatever things are good report, whatever things of faith. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all of these. Different uh, yeah. uh, spiritual That's attributes. Right. He talks about the yeah. spiritual mm -hmm. fruits. He said, "Think on these things, Thanks. you know, so that so that your mind won't get so cluttered that you can't hear from God." I tell you, it's hard if you don't watch yourself. You're gonna be like Peter and those disciples that was in the boat when the, all of the storm came and. All of the uh, wind was beating against the ship with the water and all of that stuff. They couldn't see clearly, Sister Jonah. So they they said uh, they made up in their mind that what they were looking at, walking on the water, yeah. they didn't say it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. They said it was a ghost. You will misidentify yeah. what God is saying. Th that's right. That's right. What God is doing. Yeah, that's if you allow what's around you to cause you to lose focus. Mm. When yeah. Peter got on uh, out of that boat and started focusing on Jesus, he was doing the same thing Jesus was doing. His circumstances around him did not stop him from walking on water. You don't hear about nobody else mm -hmm. walking on That's water. Right. Besides from Peter. Peter. Peter did what people call the impossible. But you got to understand he was focused. <laughs> he had to be focused at least for a while. He was focused mm -hmm. on Jesus. Mm -hmm. If we're going to make it through this pandemic, if we're going to get to through all of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, some people are not going to make it through this. Yes, You're yes. going to have people not only dying from corona, but you're going to have people committing suicide. You're yes, going to have yes. people uh, killing other people. That's you're going right. to have people that's going to go out of their mind to have to go to the psychiatrist and, you know, commit right. themselves. And I, if, if, if all of these kind of things are going to happen before this is all over That's with. It. And if you are a pastor or if you are a spiritual leader, some of them are going to give up. That's but let, right. let me tell you something. God has a way of dealing with us even in this situation. God has a way of letting us know what to do. Mm -hmm. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Somebody ought to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Because I'm telling you the truth. If you are able to have an ear, a spiritual ear, mm. to hear God, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then, and I, and I know that there's a lot of smooth talking going on right now. Come on, say it, say it, say it. I know that there are a lot of people with talent. That can preach heaven coming down. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really can. They can mess with your yeah. emotions. What's the thing in the teeth? But 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 the thing is, is it from the Lord? Mm -hmm. The Spirit said. <laughs> is it what God said? Mm -hmm. Is it the thing that God wants said? You know, there are people that will say to you, "You bring, you give me a hundred dollars." And your, all your problems going away. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that is using this pandemic as yes. a way of making money. Come you know, they're they 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 calling you on the telephone. Yeah. And you know, some of you got people calling you. You, you don't even want to answer the call if you can't identify it. Because, you know, there's some scheme, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. that they're using to try to make them some money. E right. Even business money. You know, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. We know we need it. In fact, one writer said that money was the answer to everything under the sun. I think it was Solomon. Solomon said under the sun. S-O-N. <laughs> or S-U-N. You can call it whatever. It's, yes. it, 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 that's what it is. But the love of money 
mm. is the root of all evil. They say if anything will destroy preachers, number one thing is money. Right. Watch out. <laughs> women. Watch out. Power. Come on. And wine. Mm. <laughs> those are some of the things that will destroy. In fact, those are some of the things that will destroy normal people. Yeah. Regular people. You yeah. ain't got to be in leadership. Mm -hmm. You can be a mama. Mm -hmm. You can be a daddy. Mm -hmm. You can be, you know, a sister. Mm -hmm. You can be a brother. That's it. That's and it. that same thing can happen to you because it's the yeah. lust of the eye and, and, you know, the pride of life. So God is, is, is we, we have to be careful of even the people that we listen to. We have to, you, we, we have to dis, we have discernment. You say, how can I, how can I know it's God? Ask God. For discernment. Yes, yes. Discernment yes. is when you have that unction. Mm, mm. <clears throat> God will make clear to you what the situation is and, and what someone is doing and what someone is saying. He will give you that 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 knowledge that can that don't come from other men, mm -hmm. but this knowledge comes from God because it could sound good. And then something in your spirit says, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Not so. <laughs> Not so. That ain't going to work out. You, anybody ever had God to, to speak to your subconscious mind mm -hmm. and say something to you? Uh, you know, everybody think that God has to come down and, 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 and strike lightning and God has to come down and, you know, do this great two, three week uh, fast and revival before he can speak. God can speak to you as an individual. In fact, as a church, we are individually responsible for being able to stay focused and to hear from God. Oh, Lord, how many? He said, your sons. I think that's what the yes, scripture says. The I think when Paul, uh, when Peter got up and preached that sermon, they brought 3,000 people mm. uh, uh, to God at one time, you know, to, to, to Jesus. He, he said, your sons mm. and your daughters. Yes shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. visions. And there's a reason for that too. That's it. <laughs> Talk about it. He, old men dream. <laughs> well, you know, y'all ever seen us? Well, y'all <laughs> ever seen old people in the bullpen? And I'm not making fun. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, they, they, you know, they can't they stay warm. They That's nod right. off. You know, some young ones not off now, but they, amen. amen, praise the Lord. And and we need that in the mm -hmm. church. We need the season because right. when they all woke, they got some wisdom. That's right. But it That's says, right. old men shall dream dreams and young men shall see Vision. visions. And because and when you see a vision, you got to work a vision. You can't yeah. just dream it. That's right. That's right. You got to actually work the vision. I know I'm still, I hope y'all still hearing from the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Listen to what I'm saying. So, so, so we have a responsibility to not fail. You say, well, why would God keep saying and repeating stuff to us over and over again? Because the greatest failure was uh, of Israel was not to hear and adhere. See, there are two things you got to do. You got to hear it first of all. Yes, you do. Or you got to read it. <laughs> One or the other. You got to hear it or read it. Somehow it has to get into your mind. And, and, and once you hear it, you have to do something else. You have to adhere. Which means that not only did you physically uh, notice it or pay attention or listen to the instructions carefully, but afterwards you went out and you followed the instructions, you followed the advice, you followed the guidance. So, you know, it's not good enough to know and not to do. Yeah. Remember what I said? Yeah. Is yet to know. Information without application is abortion. Yes, yes. And that's bad. That's yes. bad to have all the information you need mm -hmm. to be delivered, mm -hmm. and you won't use it to be delivered. It, it, it's, it's, a, yes. it's, it's a shame to, 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 to have been warned, and God is warning us. He's warning us every day yes, of all is. of the things that's going on 
uh, right now, God is warning us. God is saying, if my people who are called by my name, he is saying to us all of these other things, and we are steadily, I, I have never seen such stiff-necked uh, people in the church. Yes, yes. We see people dying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're still not trying to get it right. Yes, yes. We're crooking more than now, Come on now than we did months ago. I'm serious. That, that if any time we ought to be saying, Lord, uh, help me to be a better person. Yes, yes. Forgive and that's me. Our, and, that, and that's our theme this mm -hmm. year, you know, mm -hmm. pursuing a better me in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so, so we should be asking God, what is it that I need to fix? Mm -hmm. You know, or Lord... I need you yes. to fix me yes. because me. I can't fix myself. Forgive me, Forgive me <laughs> my sins and blot out That's my it. transgressions like David did. David sin. You some people just going on like ain't nothing happened. Yes. Oh, I'm the happiest person in the world right yes. now. You know you're lying. Yes. You know you, you can't sleep at night. Well, maybe you can sleep at night, but if you are a Christian, if you are Believer. a godly yes. person, if you have Jesus in your heart, then you're not going to be able to sleep in injustice. You're not going to be able to sleep through all of that That's deception. Right. You're not going to be able to do that. So God is trying to speak to us right now. Somebody say right now. Right now. Right now right God now. is speaking to us and saying to us, you know, can you hear me now? Hear we are now? in Revelations. He said, I'm coming for a church mm. without a spot or wrinkle or any such Damn. thing. In fact, he says, Lo, I come quickly, and come on, my man. rewards come on. are with me to give to every man according to his works. In fact, in that second chapter, in the third chapter, know your words. I know your words. He yeah. said it seven <laughs> times, I believe, just like he did, uh, he that has an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. He also said in there, and there's some sequence of numbers that mean something. Seven is a number of completion. And so he says seven times also, I know your words. Man, I, I would be kicking myself in the behind right now if I was some folk because, you know, many of us are behind on what God has called us on, to do. Many of us have not done Half the stuff that God has been calling. We've been running and running and running away from God. And God God has stricken us, even with sickness, allowed sickness to come on us. Come on. And 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 then he'd come around and deliver us. And we still not hearing him. He's saying, Do you hear me now? He had mercy on us on. and brought us out yes. and, 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 and picked us up and put us back. On a rock, you know, and, and, and well, solid, yeah, man. he picked us up, turned us around, placed our feet on, solid, on solid ground, and we still God. won't hear <laughs> what God has to say to us. How many times have we talked to our children mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about something, and you said to them, "I told you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not to do so and so and so. I told you if you did this, that, or the other thing, this was going to happen." I told you don't go outside and do this no more. I told you to wash your teeth and brush your teeth rather. And, yes. and, and I, I told you not to put on certain yeah, yeah, clothes. Yeah. I, I told you, you know, so, so we are given information, but our problem is like the children of Israel. Every time they would not listen to God, Every time they disobeyed what God said, every time they went into another direction and kind of turned a deaf ear on what God was saying to them, they ended up in captivity mm -hmm. or either they died or they got sick. It, it was always something that happened. We should learn. That's right. I was talking to a preacher the other day. He said, you know, Superintendent Jonah, People don't learn. He said all of the, through the Bible. He was, we were just discussing yeah, yeah, you know, theological yeah. stuff. And he said all through the Bible, it looks like men never learn. 
Uh-huh. From Adam, God told Adam, the day you eat of that you tree, sure you that. should look at the information that come he on, gave to him. On. The day Hand that you off. eat of that tree, ye shall surely die. Mm -hmm. And then he listens, uh, his wife go and listen to uh, somebody that was under him. <laughs> you know, we listen to folk that are not even spiritual. Come on now. Folk that don't even live nothing their self. Mm -hmm. They're telling you what to live and they ain't even living it their self. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to get up and whistle between their teeth yeah. like they this in a bag of chips. Anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> that I don't teeth. want nobody to say I'm fussing. <laughs> you know? But God is trying to get us to hear what he is saying because he's trying to keep us away from destruction. He's trying to Keep us aware of the times so that when he comes, we will be also ready. He said, be ye also ready for the day or the hour that, man, that the Son of Man cometh. No man knows. Not even, listen to this. Himself. He said, I don't even know. Mm. He said, only the Father knows. The time now, now, now. Imagine that Jesus don't even know the time. He is he's there uh, for us. He's there as an intercessor, intercessor for us. But he don't even know the time. And he's and 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 notice that in Revelations he also repeat, "He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church." He's trying to get all of the churches on the right path because all of us got something. In our churches that ain't right. I don't care who you are. If you got everything in your church right, you, you must be ready to go to heaven. That's it. Somebody, there's something that we need to change. That's why we're being transformed. Yes, yes. Be ye transformed by the renewing no, of your, in Romans 12, be ye transformed mm. by the renewing of oh, your mind. mind. And what do our minds need renewing? That we may prove Ooh. that which is good and acceptable and will and perfect will of not ourselves, okay. but of God. How can we know the will of God? We've got to listen That's to right. God. We have to have a spiritual ear to hear. That's God it. tell That's you, it. hey, when your season is over, mm. your season is over. I've seen people stay in places and do things when, when God is finished with them. Yeah, yeah. And they still trying to mm -hmm. make it work. They stay in, they lay eggs. Come on now. <laughs> and then they turn around and eat them. All right, come on. <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, James Brown couldn't move like he moved when he was younger. Yeah, yeah. When he was, he, it, it, <laughs> when, you know, when he got older. Yeah. He he had to he had to slow down a little bit. All of us slow down. None of us will remain the same. if we keep on living. If God bless us to get of age, there are some things that we're gonna have to stop doing. One of these days, I hope you want to retire. Yeah, yeah. I hope one day you want to get to a place. You don't want to stay into a place until uh, you get so bad off that you are, you know, you you you're disgraced. Yeah, your your all of your good works, all of your good things that you've done become to naught because people got a way of not remembering all the good you do. That's it. They go to the. Bad things. Yes. I, boy, bad news travel fast, don't it? it sure don't. You let somebody die. Before it's all over, you ain't got to call nobody. You don't call them. They don't call somebody. In fact, if they got Facebook, yeah. <laughs> they going to find out. Some of some going to find out before even relatives find out. That's right. So, That's right. you know, this. So we, we have to make sure that we focus mm. on God. Focus on what God wants for your life. Yes. It might be scary. It might be different. I told uh, them, on, I think it's two uh, weeks ago I, I, on Food for Thought, I, I, I talked about doing something new. Yeah. You know, make things new. Don't keep on doing the same old thing with no yeah. results. What, 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 what is insanity? insanity? Doing the same thing over and over results. again, uh, expecting different results. If it's not working... It's not working. 
And you should admit that and stop wasting your time mm -hmm. trying to make something work that God said he don't even want to work. <laughs> not, not, not. Yeah. So God, it's important that we hear the word of the Lord, that we hear what God is saying. Stop allowing uh, 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 chaos to speak into your life. And that's what we do. Stop allowing all of these noisy, uh, all of these uh, elements mm -hmm. and all of these circumstances to get you so messed up that you can't hear from God. Yeah, yeah. Get alone. Maybe you need to be uh, abandoned to an hour. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, your Alapat must may yeah. not be the same as John. Come on, but you should take John as an example of bad circumstances becoming the best thing that ever happened to you. Mm -hmm. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and the call of according course. to His purpose. In my closing, yeah, I just yeah. want you to just, uh, wherever you are right now, say it to yourself. If you're mad with the person next to you, <laughs> don't say it to them. Say it to yourself. Look up and uh, say it. Ask them, who are you hearing? Ask yourself. Who are you who hearing? Who am I hearing? Who am I hearing? Who are I'm allowing to speak into yeah. my life? You're allowing sometimes the wrong people to speak into your life. The things that you should be hearing mm -hmm. should be hearing from the Lord. You should say, Lord, speak Lord, to me. Y'all know that's the song. Lord, speak to me. You need to ask God to speak to you. Speak God, to me, God, what is it that you want me to do? What are you saying? Even yes. in my circumstances. What are you saying to me? Even in, 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 in songs, what are you saying to me? Even in your word, Lord, as I read it, not what it's saying to somebody else, but what is it saying to me? Stop allowing this stuff to cause you to be the way you are. Because you don't want bitterness to come up in your heart. Right. You don't want, want anger to come up in your heart. You yes. don't want these things. You don't want to be like Cain. You know, Cain, if he would have addressed his problem, he wouldn't have had to worry about his brother. Mm -hmm. But because he did not address, God come said on. to him, if sin, yes. you know, if, if, I, I, if I bless you, I bless you. But if... If I don't, and you're angry, sin lieth at the door. And we got to understand that sometimes God tells you, uh, okay, move from here, or uh, go over here, or move over here, or yep. go yep. up in front, or yes. go behind. Yes. But we have to, he said, make two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, God will do that. He, mm -hmm. He's sometimes a paradoxical God. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's, you know, sometimes... Uh, uh, say is the opposite mm -hmm. of what you know may 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 be going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here it is. Ask yourself, where am I right now? Come on. What is the Lord saying to me? Mm. Am I going to obey Him? Yes. Or am I going to obey man? <laughs> Y'all ain't hearing me. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Am, am I going to do what he, and even though it may be hard, am I going to do what he say do? Am I going to move where he say move? Am I going to, or am I going to drown out because of fear and doubt? Mm -hmm. We need to obey the voice of the Lord. Of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's what makes us prosperous. That's yes. what make, gives yes. us blessing yes. because God knows he can trust us to obey him no matter what the circumstances is, no matter how we look. John didn't worry about how he looked. Evidently he didn't because he was banded or, or yeah. taken yeah. to an island. 
He said, but I am. I was in the spirit. Listen to this. Day. He said, I was shaking and quaking <laughs> on the Lord's day. I could raise my hand and say, he is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the midst of being put on an island, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, he is good. Yeah. Blessed is the name of the Lord. The things that we should be saying within ourselves is what God has already spoke to us. Yeah. With yeah. an ear. Yes. He yes. that has an ear, let, let him hear. hear what the Spirit has to really? say to the church. The Spirit will say to you, greater is he that is in me than he that is, is in, in the, the world. world. The Spirit will say that God is my refuge and come strength. On, come on. A very present help in the, in the time. time of trouble. If I have an ear to hear, the Spirit will say to me that the Lord is my life light and my. my salvation of whom shall I fear? Yes, the Lord yes. is the strength of yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah, of whom yeah. shall, shall I, I be afraid? afraid? In that I will say the Lord is my yeah. shepherd. That's what the Spirit says. I shall not mourn. He yeah, yeah, maketh yeah. me to lie down and in green pastures. He not not what people say, but him in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still. the still water, and then he restoreth my soul. Oh, give it back to me. I, he, <laughs> he gives me what I have yeah. lost. Men say that is no hope, but God says we have rope. Listen to this. He says, and, and lo, and even as I walk in the valley of the shadow, of the shadow Not the real thing, just a shadow of <laughs> them, I will Fear no evil, for thou art with me. Come Listen on. to this. Thy rod and thy staff, thou comfort me. Listen to this. Thou prepareth a table Watch before out. me Watch in the presence Watch out. of my enemies. So look at here. If you want to hear from God, read his word. Study to show yourself approved. Mm. A workman need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing right. the word of truth. I'm well, telling you, God <laughs> is real. He will move upon you. He will bless you. He will, he will comfort you. He will give you joy, uh, unspeakable joy. Even in the midst of all of this, God will tell you that you are blessed. Yeah, be not afraid. Come on. Be not afraid, yeah. For I am with you. With you. Lo, I am with you yeah. even till the end of time. I feel like preaching. Yeah, that. yeah, you already preaching. <laughs> I know we gotta go, but I just I, I just feel the spirit of the Lord yeah, yeah, moving yeah. on the inside and oh. stirring. I hope that somebody is being transformed right now. Listen, God says this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Okay. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are not left alone. You might be on your own personal out of Patmos, yeah, but yeah. God says you are not alone. This may be your greatest revelation. Yeah. This may be your greatest moment for ministry. This may be your greatest morning, uh, mo moment for transformation. Yeah. God will change things. Look at yes, here. Yeah. A change will Come after a while. Somebody said, what is after a while? I don't know. Weeping may endure oh, for a night, night, but I can tell you joy. that joy comes in the morning. I'm yes. telling you, he's right there right now in your life. All you've got to say is, yes, Lord, I hear what you have to say. I'm listening. Yes. God, whatever the answer is, I'm listening yes. to find out which way you yes. want me to go. God, I am available to, to you. you right now. Do in my life yes, yes, what yes. you want done. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, he'll do it. He'll do it. I've, I've been young. Yeah. Now I'm a little bit older. 
Yes. And I've never seen God forsake. Mm. I've never had my seed. That's it. That's it. Begging bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a witness. I'm not telling you something that I heard. This is a little boy that comes from 838 29th Street, one of the worst areas in Newport News, Virginia at that time. And God brought this poor old boy from yeah, yeah, yeah. there to where I am right now. I'm telling you. Possible with men. Yes. But with God, it became possible. I was able to travel yes. the whole world. I was able to go to Germany. I was able yes. to go to uh, Spain. Yes. I was able France. at France. And I was yes. able to go to all of those different yes. places. Able to travel around yes. from one state to another. Yes. God has been good. Yes, he has. If God don't do nothing else, yes, he done done, he done done enough. Come on now. <laughs> if God don't bless me with another dime, he done done, he done enough. done enough. If God don't bless me with another position, yes, he, he done, done done enough. enough. In fact, I'm glad, happy glad, that yes. he's done what he's done because it, my my life is in his hands. Yes. Your life. Is in his hands. All you got to do is believe. He said only believe. believe. Listen to this. He that has an ear. Let him hear. Huh? He that has the willingness. The ear. Let him hear. What the spirit. Is saying. To the believer. To the church. We need to be there. Don't be caught off God. That's right. Don't allow the enemy to cause you not to get what God has for you. Because what God has for you, it is for you. And timing is everything. I'm going to say it again. Timing is everything. So as we get ready to go into a word of prayer. I'm praying right now that you will allow God mm. to speak to your heart. You ought to say to him right now, Lord, speak to my heart right now. Yes. So we're praying with you yes, yes. right now, yes. wherever you are. Yes, yes. Put your hands and gather around whoever is with you. Yes. Lord, I need you. Say to him, God, God. Lord, give me, give me a spiritual ear, a spiritual ear. To, hear. to hear. Lord, give me, give me. A, spiritual ear. a spiritual ear to hear. Father, I pray for your people. I pray for them because they are your people. God, there are many needs out there. And only you can provide for those needs. It may not be in a way that we think you ought to provide. But God, we're willing now to hear you. To hear your voice. Just to hear your voice and tell us to come is enough. God, I pray that you will strengthen those who are down or trodden. Those who don't seem to have the monies they need, those that don't have maybe even the support of others that they need. God, they may feel like that they have been separated and put on the side, but God, we know that you are not a respecter person. Lord, you see a black ant on a black rock in the middle of the night. Nothing hides from you. So God, I pray that you will go there even yes, now. Yes, yes. God, begin to uplift. Begin to heal bodies. Begin to inspire. Begin to bless in ways that they never thought that they could be blessed. Have your way in their life. Have your way, Lord. 
We know you will. We know you can. We pray it in your name. We trust you for all things. We trust you for all things. In Jesus' name. Thank God. I feel right now that God has come into your life. God has blessed you. You that may not know him as your personal Savior. All you have to do is ask him to forgive you your sins. And he will forgive you. And he will come sup with you. And you with him. Don't think that is the end. For your life is just beginning. I know others didn't make it to this point, but God didn't bring you to this point for nothing. Yes. But he brought you to this place that you may be filled and that you may be blessed even now, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you don't leave here the way you started off. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you. We love you. Don't forget that God loves you best.